so Taylor series all of us know if you have any function f of x it can be written as uh, um, it can be written as a set of functions which are called as the polynomial functions so you can take x minus say some x naught which is the point of expansion whole power k so k times here ck so ck is for taylor series or what okay so this f of x has to be an analytical function that is it should be differentiable infinitely okay so that is one of the important considerations that's what i told you a class of functions only will satisfy a particular uh, you know linear combination okay so this particular linear combination will be satisfied by like for example for uh, fourier series the class of functions are periodic functions so for taylor series the class of functions which satisfy the taylor series are analytical functions that is infinitely differentiable okay so what are ck's in such a case we all know this anyway i will try to do this derivation and uh, put it up on the website for as a separate uh, additional uh, knowledge uh, it won't be a rigorous derivation some simple you know derivation which will help you to quickly check out so this is a kth derivative at x naught divided by k factor that is the value of ck into x minus x naught whole power k right so we all know that f of x uh, can be generally written as <coughs> as a series if you like k equal to 0 to infinity so if you substitute you will get f0 that means no derivative f of x0 divided by 0 factorial which is 1 then 1 by 1 factorial that is 1 into f power 1 so f dash of x0 that is first derivative into x minus x0 power 0 here that's why it came 1 here but here x minus x0 whole power 1 so you'll get this plus 1 by 2 factorial into f double dash of x0 into x minus x0 whole squared like this it goes right all of us know this it's a very important thing so here i would like to mention two important points okay the taylor series converges very fast if the point x naught is in the immediate neighborhood it's in the immediate neighborhood okay uh, so what is that useful the, the this is useful for calculating the value of the function at any point so if x1 let us say x1 is in the immediate neighborhood of x0 then the series converges fast what do you mean by series converges fast that is a few terms are enough you need not write infinitely long number of terms for you to get a good accuracy that's what you mean okay so this is what uh, is easily said but then i want you to do it once say for example <clears throat> if you take f of x equal to sin x f of x equal to sin x and let us say that our x naught is 0 if x naught is 0 the Taylor series is also called as Maclaurin series ok just for completion so what is a sin x so sin x can be written all of us know this don't worry as written as x minus x cube by 3 factorial minus x power 5 by 5 factorial plus sorry this will be plus right this will be plus this will be minus x power 7 by 7 factorial like that it goes on plus minus okay so all of us know this and we say that you know this approximation is valid if the value of x is extremely small right for small x we have sin x to be approximated as x so that's what it is if the values of x are very very close to 0 then sin x is almost like a linear function so you will find the sin x that's why when you plot sin x you will part, see this part of it is almost linear so after that it becomes non-linear right and then of course it goes like that so this part here is non-linear okay so if you that is what i am saying is so theta or x whatever it is so if you choose x equal to pi by 2 pi by 2 is not very close to 0 right so that will give you so sine pi by 2 is 1 and so we know sine pi by 2 is 1 so if you substitute pi by 2 here what do I get sine pi by 2 is 1 and on the other side you have pi by 2 
which is 3.14 by 2, which is 1.7, right? So it is not at all close. So you might have to then subtract, uh, you know, uh, pi by 2 whole cube by 3 factorial. And then maybe you have to add more terms, right? So whereas if you take x equal to something like pi by 6, right? 180 by 6 is 30. Sin 30 is half. We all know that, right? Sin pi by 2 is 0.5. And uh, you can see here, you will get pi by 6. So 3.14 by 6. How much is that? Right? You can easily calculate. It will almost come to be very close to 0.5. Okay? So, that is the basic idea. So, I want you to do this in uh, G numeric. Okay? 